To prepare this cable for termination, you'll need an armoured cable slitting tool, fibre optic cutting shears, a flathead screwdriver, a pair of side cutters, tape, a ruler and a marker. In step 1, you'll determine the required length of armoured jacketing to be removed from the cable. If you're installing a fan out or spider breakout kit, measure the tubing down the length of the cable then measure an extra 12 inches or 30 centimeters additional length down the armor and mark with tape. Even if you're not planning to install a fan out or breakout kit onto the fiber, it's recommended that you leave enough of a service loop available within the rack or enclosure to facilitate future changes. For the next step, it's always the best practice to set the blade height with a sample piece of the cable you're working with. To proceed, Tighten the base thumb screw on the slitting tool and place the cable into the V-groove. Loosen the Allen screw and adjust the blade height by turning the flathead screw located on the base of the slitting tool so it approximates no more than the thickness of the cable jacketing. Avoid setting the blade too high and then tighten the Allen screw to secure the blade. Next, loosen the blade thumb screw to lower the blade completely and ensure the blade setting lever is turned opposite the V-groove. To perform a radial cut, the blade lever should be in line with the direction of the cutting blade. With the blade still lowered, position the cable in the V-groove at a mark you placed on your cable. Lower and hold the rotating wheel firmly against the cable, then tighten the gold side screw. Tighten the base thumb screw until firm but not completely tightened. Now rotate the tool around the cable Tighten the base thumb screw and repeat as needed until the base thumb screw is fully tightened. Loosen the base thumb screw and side gold screw and remove the slitting tool from the cable. The cable is now ready to be split open. Being careful not to damage the fibre cable located inside, use cutting pliers to trim the armour and remove sharp edges. Electrical tape can be applied for protection of the sharp edge if needed. If installing a grounding lug or bonding strap, perform a longitudinal cut and ring cut with the slitting tool such that you only remove enough of the PVC layer on the armour for grounding. If you're installing a fan out kit or spider breakout kit onto the 250 micron fibers within the 3 mil subunit, please refer to the applicable instruction video on our website at www.clearline.com.